The voice usually gives it one. Who uh, is a dire Broncos fan? We're going to need you, the Broncos fan. The Broncos are looking good in 2016. Now, I obviously, um, given most people here know me for my playing days in the Brisbane Broncos, um, playing the state of Oregon with the Queensland team. And the team. Um, my first trip here to PNG, I was telling the professors uh, earlier in this story. My first trip to PNG was in 1997. I was 19 years old. Um, playing for the Broncos, and we were playing against the Penrith Panthers in Court Wars. And I remember going into the, the, Crown, uh, the Crown Plaza, not the one downtown, but the Crown Plaza, um, a little bit out of the, the outbound of, uh, of the CBD. And, and it was, as for me, coming from Australia, it was a bit of an experience. That, that the uh, hotel had all this barbed wire, so it was like a compound. So, <laughs> I'm sort of thinking, you know, as a young kid, my first time in PNG, well, you know, what's going to happen here? Uh, so, it was a different experience for us. I remember sitting down for our first team dinner there, and, and you know, the lights went out. Um, and I thought, oh, well, is something going to happen to us? So, we, is someone going to jump the fence here? <laughs> You know, like it's, it's, it's an eye opener when you come from Australia the first time to PNG. I've been back to PNG many times. Obviously, a lot from playing rugby league, played against the courts um, and many times. But I've got to say, I've never pulled up more sore the next day than playing against the courts. <laughs> they know how to hit and hit hard. So, uh, <laughs> it, was, it, was one, it was one guy, I can't remember his full name, but, but, but I played in a 2008 World Cup game in Sydney against the Commons, and, and uh, this particular centre, he was on their left. And, uh, you know? Anyway, I kept getting this sort of play out the back for a block play, and every time I got the ball, this guy just smashed me. <laughs> Three times he got me, and uh, I just I remember thinking, who is that guy? And I asked one of the, because one of the coaches at the time played that was in Australia, and I said, who was the guy that was uh, playing the sounds out there today? Because he did a job on me. I've never pulled up, you know, so sorry. He said, uh, we call him the jukebox. <laughs> I said, what is that? They said, because hits just keep on coming. <laughs> so I've never forgotten the jukebox. I don't know if you, you know him, but um, yeah, he got me a good one that day. Um, <laughs> But now I've, uh, you know, like even though I've been to PNG probably 20 times, my first trip's away. So thank you for having me. Um, and as I, as I was telling the professors, I went to the gym this morning at the Lane International for a bit of a run on the treadmill. And, and the same thing again, I've got the TV on, got the air coming on, having a run, and then the lights go out. Um, so the blackouts are still happening. I know they happen here a lot. That's the reason why I'm here and the Mayor team's here because uh, uh, I'm no longer the captain of the team anymore. These are my captains because they're the best in their field. So they've got the most experience in delivering projects like this to provide cheap and reliable power to communities and towns like yourself. So, um, you know, we've just come from, from the, uh, the boardroom and um, signed a, a term of reference sheet or an agreement to partner with Minitech. We will fund health fund um, significant amount of fund on an annual basis to the renewal um, research, the renewal energy research institute. So we uh, we look forward to working with you and as, uh, and making progress in that department. Um, but at the same time, is that we want to make a difference, um, you know, not just for our company, we want to make a difference for the people of PNG, and in particular those people here in Way. That's where we that's where we like to kickstart our operation. So uh, you now you know, the doctor mentioned to me mentioned to everyone here that you know, I, I was a sportsman but now I've, I've uh, 
advanced into the business world. And I, I guess my message for you here is that you know, whether, you, whether you're a sportsman or whether you're here at university or whether you've got a job, you know, what, what's most important is your attitude. Okay, talent is one thing, but if you don't have the attitude, the talent will be wasted. Um, you need to have attitude, you need to have commitment and dedication to what you do. And that was what I, you know, I guess I had a certain amount of talent that gave me the opportunity to play for the Broncos, but it was my attitude and commitment to the team uh, and to myself that enabled me to stay there for 17 years and learn the things I learned. And the same principles that I learned to make it successful on the sporting field are the same in business. The saying is you only get yeah. So the, the saying is you, you only get out of what you put into it. It's very true. The more you put into somebody, the more you get out of it. You know, you're here, you've got a wonderful opportunity to support not just yourself, but your families, and I'm sure your families, you, you want to make them proud, you want to be proud of yourself. So, uh, so in closing, um, because you wouldn't be able to hear me out the back without a microphone, trust me. Um, <laughs> but in closing, I just want to say thank you for having us here. Uh, we look forward to the partnership. Remember, Mayo Resources is our company. And uh, we'll be back, um, and we will be here to make a difference and work with you. And uh, go the Broncos. <laughs>
and making progress in that department. Um, but at the same time, as I said, we want to make a difference. Um, you know, not just for our company, we want to make a difference for the people of PNG, and in particular, those people here in Lay. That's where we that's where we like to kickstart our operations. So uh, now, look, the, you know, the doctor mentioned to me, mentioned to everyone here that you know I, I was a sportsman, but now I've I've uh, uh, advanced into the business world, and I, I guess my message for you here is that you know whether you, whether you're a sportsman or whether you're here at university or whether you've got a job. You know, what, what's most important is your attitude. It, talent is one thing, but if you don't have the attitude, the talent will be wasted. Um, you need to have attitude, you need to have commitment and dedication to what you do. And that was what I, you know, I, I guess I had a, a certain amount of talent that gave me the opportunity to play for the Broncos, but it was my attitude and commitment to the team uh, and to myself that enabled me to stay there for 17 years and learn the things I learned. And the same principles that I learned that make you successful in the sporting field are the same in business. The saying is you only yeah. So the same the saying is you you only get out of what you put into it. It's very true. Um, and the more you put into something, the more you get out of it. And you know you, you're here. You got a wonderful opportunity to support not just yourself but your families. And I'm sure your families you, you want to make them proud. And you want to be proud of yourself. So. Uh, so in closing, um, There. There, we, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Lucky for that, because you wouldn't be able to hear me up the back without a microphone, trust me. Um, <laughs> but in closing, I just want to say thank you for having us here. Uh, we look forward to the partnership. Remember, Mayo Resources is our company. And uh, we'll be back, um, and we will be here to make a difference and work with you. And uh, go the Broncos. <laughs> The research facilities that are applied.